Alrighty, everyone, here we are. It is now September 2nd of 2020. We are only getting closer and closer to next year, which by the way, really is going to be the very beginning or where a ton of new material for the new Star Wars universe is gonna start to release. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one thing about Disney Star Wars is that yes, we do know that they are currently now in a phase of desperation and damage control to really get the ball rolling again when it comes to this new Star Wars universe. Obviously, we have Bob Iger and Bob Chapek doing everything in their power to really bring things to the same exact level as the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now, when you think about this, and I've actually gone over this before in the past, and we have actually discussed this, is that that's going to take a very high success rate. That's going to take a lot of TV shows and movies to have great success in a row. Now, obviously, we do know that the Leslie Headland Star Wars TV series probably won't even match up to what the fans want to see, given the agendas that they are focusing on over the actual story and character development. However, when it all comes down to the sequel trilogy, we do know that the sequels really had a lot of problems with the production behind the scenes. You know, we do know that Lucasfilm's Kathleen Kennedy was the one directly responsible for deleting so many segments out of the film and putting new ones in and really kind of just creating a stir between J.J. Abrams, George Lucas, and Chris Terrio at the time, you know, in late 2018 into the year of 2019 last year. However, what's really intriguing all has to do with actor Harrison Ford and Lucasfilm's Kathleen Kennedy and how it all has to do with the rise of Skywalker as a film. Now, specifically on top of all of this, all right, with the Skywalker saga now over, both Disney and Lucasfilm have been developing over 10 years worth of Star Wars projects for Disney Plus alone. It's noted that Bob Iger and Bob Chapek are hard at work on reuniting the Star Wars fandom around the entire world in order to make Star Wars as successful as it can be. Now, they are actively working on their handful of TV shows and films to bring everything up to the same level as the Marvel Cinematic Universe for fans to witness around the world. However, it's noted that behind the scenes, many changes are being made over at Lucasfilm, and when it turns over to the cast of The Rise of Skywalker, like many actors on set, Harrison Ford also had issues with Lucasfilm's Kathleen Kennedy and was very angry with some of her decisions for the film when it came to deleting so many scenes that involved his character Han Solo that he came back for and worked on. Now get this, it's described that originally Harrison Ford was set to have a handful of segments in the movie that Kathleen Kennedy initially agreed on with J.J. Abrams and George Lucas before the major reshoots came into play. This is where the Han Solo scenes were shot in the fall of 2018, with the last one being shot sometime in mid-2019. However, Kathleen Kennedy decided to delete so many scenes that Harrison Ford worked on, okay, so very hard on that took lots of rehearsals between himself and Adam Driver, as well as Mark Hamill, Billy D, and the CG insert of Leia for that reunion scene. So I don't know if you guys knew this, but... They were at one point in time trying to initiate a reunion scene between Luke, Han, Leia, and Lando. And this was only midway through the production before it got full on canceled because of Kathleen Kennedy. Harrison Ford was apparently very happy with the results so far of what they were doing between himself, Hamill, Billy D, and of course, a unknown actress doing the body of Leia, where they were going to actually take an actual piece of footage from The Last Jedi to throw Leia in there and do some CGI work on the face to animate the mouth with a actual new voice actor kind of making Leia talk new dialogue. Now, that would have honestly worked and it really would have, I think, saved a great portion of the film. We do know that really Episode 9 was a movie attempted by Disney to really save from the mistakes done by Ryan Johnson in The Last Jedi. There's no doubt about that. When we go ahead and examine, you know, Harrison Ford as an actor, you know, yes, was he, sh was he shortchanged in episode nine? For sure, absolutely. But what more could they have really done? Well, here it is. You know, they were going to experiment with more flashbacks. They were going to experiment with more vision sequences in the film. Obviously, they were not going to bring him back to life. That would have been ridiculous in my book. So they wanted to just stick with, you know, what was the most realistic way or strategy to go about doing things with Han Solo, and this was it. And even that, Kathleen Kennedy did not enjoy that. 
Now, on top of all of this, they were at one point, all right, get this, they were at one point working on flashbacks, other vision sequences between father and son, like Han and Ben, as well as other snippets of Han Solo that were actually cut from the film and that Kathleen Kennedy refused to include those scenes on the Blu-ray edition of the movie. So in case you guys did not know, uh, there was a young boy cast for a young Ben Solo, I would say in early 2018, we're talking about February to March, give or take, uh, well before they began shooting on August 1st of 2018 over in Jordan. Now, when you think about it that way, in that sense, this movie had so much potential to really explore the character of Ben Solo and everything related to you know the character of Han Solo as well. They really could have dived more into the Solos a bit and really have explored that relationship between father and son. So I think that they really missed a great opportunity there. It's very much unfortunate that they did not get to really experiment with this. Moving on. Now, like Daisy Ridley, all right, this too caused Harrison Ford to get very angry with Kathleen Kennedy over such a decision by deleting those scenes from the film that he spent so many hours a day on for weeks on end that led to a full cancellation of the most heartfelt scenes that fans would have enjoyed. Now, it's described that the main reason why Harrison agreed to come back in the first place is that he actually enjoyed working with J.J. Abrams and actor Adam Driver, and that it was a great experience for him with The Force Awakens. It's noted, however, that Harrison Ford continued to urge Kennedy to keep those scenes on the Blu-ray edition of the film, or at the last, or at the least, the streaming version known as Disney+. Plus. Ridley, Ford, and even Hamill all had problems with Kathleen Kennedy deleting their scenes from the film, since they were the ones that worked extremely hard on acting in those moments of the movie, and that Kennedy ended up having creative differences with J.J. Abrams and forced J.J. to actually delete them with his editors. The absence or deleted scenes, of course, was a call by Kathleen Kennedy to actually hide the fact that there was indeed a better version of the film before it got cancelled early on in the process for fans to witness. Hence Bob Chapek, you know, the new Disney CEO, now on a mission to bringing in the Lucas cut of the film sometime in 2023 on Disney+. Plus. So here's the thing about the scenario is that you have Harrison Ford, who worked so very hard on these segments. I honestly think it would have actually changed our view of The Force Awakens, because the problem that I had with Episode 7 back in 2015, when we saw the death of Han Solo by the hands of his own son, yes, did it, ca did it really catch me emotionally? It did, but not as much as it should have. And I'm sure some of you guys out there will agree with me on this, is that I didn't really feel it you know, to the point where I really should have. I feel like I should have had more emotion with that scene, and I think a lot of it had to do with the fact that there was no really, you know, uh, scene, there was really no scenes that really boosted the familiarity between father and son. It almost felt as if they were just strangers meeting for the very first time. That's kind of what it felt like. They could have at least done something where they could have given a flashback or anything around those lines of a younger Ben Solo in Episode 7, which, by the way, is what they wanted to do in The Rise of Skywalker. Again, this was J.J. Abrams trying to not only make up for the mistakes done by Ryan, but to also correct his own little flaws in The Force Awakens. That's also what he wanted to do with Episode 9, and Kathleen Kennedy was just not having it. You know, hence why Harrison Ford had a lot of problems with Kathleen Kennedy, was very angry at her for not releasing these scenes. On the Blu-ray edition of the film, I mean, think about it. It's like going into work, pouring your heart and soul into those scenes and really working hard on them, only for Kathleen Kennedy to delete all of them like that. Poof, gone, never to be seen again. So, I really have to give it to Harrison Ford, you know, I mean, he came back, he really, he really didn't have to come back, I mean, obviously he came back for another reason, apart from the fact that he liked working with JJ and Adam Driver, is that, well, it was a paycheck, right? I think it's pretty safe to say between, you know, all of us, that Harrison Ford is not as passionate of a fan as Mark Hamill is, I mean, that's a true comparison, so... Like I've said before in the past, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.
nights alone, we hear them moans again. Oh.